When many Western people think of yoga, they think of some stretching in various positions and possibly some breathing exercises. To the East, however, in such religions as Hinduism, this is a religious practice meant to connect you with spiritual forces. The term yoga is from the Sanskrit root word yuj, which means to yoke. The practice is not only associated with Hindu moral principles, but the poses, called asana, are based on Hindu gods, and each pose is associated and meant to be an invocation in worship to the false deities and what they stand for. Some poses are, the Bhujagasana is dedicated to Shiva, being the cobra pose, which alone is directly associated with the serpent of Eden, which is Satan. The Vrikshasana, being the tree pose, is associated with Vishnu, and the Natarajasana, being the dancer pose, is also dedicated to Shiva. These poses in yoga are meant to trigger and or quotations, awaken your inner chakras, which in Hinduism are spiritual centers in your body. And many practicing Hindus see this as inseparable from their religion. The infamous occultist and Satanist, Aleister Crowley, who's been called the Beast 666 in reference to Revelation 13, which is that of the forces of Antichrist, encouraged this practice in his eight lectures on yoga and said the discipline of magic is of the greatest service in yoga. If you also take into consideration how the Bible says that the gods that are worshipped by the Gentiles are devils, as found in 1 Corinthians 10 verse 20, you would have to see this as a practice of the spirit of Antichrist. Let's see how else the Bible tells us to react to yoga. 2 Corinthians 6 verses 14 to 17 Be ye not unequally yoked together with unbelievers. For what fellowship hath righteousness with unrighteousness? And what communion hath light with darkness? And what concord hath Christ with Belial? Or what part hath he that believeth with an infidel? And what agreement hath the temple of God with idols? For ye are the temple of the living God. As God hath said, I will dwell in them, and walk in them, and I will be their God, and they shall be my people. Wherefore come out from among them, and be ye separate, saith the Lord, and touch not the unclean thing, and I will receive you. After this examination, it would be a good idea to rethink participating in these sessions if you are currently doing so. It is important for us as Christians to show the light of the Gospels by reproving the darkness of this practice. As Christ has made it clear that if you do not accept Him alone as Lord and only Savior, that one is to die in their sins. Hindus are in this darkness. And although they might see Jesus as a good teacher, Jesus has made it clear that he is the only way to the Father and to try to get to God any other way is to play the role of a thief and will be cast out from his presence. Yoga should not be supported by the followers of Christ and are told to not yoke together with this world, but to be separate.